China and Russia are rapidly increasing their hypersonic weapons. In recent years, both countries have performed several hypersonic missile tests. Hypersonic weapons is a trending military technology because they beat the current defense systems. The hypersonic attack is a big threat for the US that it could face. The US has also developed hypersonic weapons and is expected to deploy its hypersonic weapons in 2023. Along with the development of a hypersonic arsenal, United States is also considering to develop a defensive system that could intercept hypersonic attacks. A hypersonic weapon is launched and boosted by a rocket. Reaching near the edge of space, it moves toward its target at tremendous speed. The hypersonic glide vehicle makes irregular trajectories that cannot be predicted. Hypersonic glide vehicles can maneuver on the way, which makes them harder to be detected by the current defense systems. Hypersonic weapons can be detected during the launch phase, then disappear from sight. To address the threats from the hypersonic weapons, Pentagon is working to develop a hypersonic and ballistic tracking space sensor system HBTSS. The U.S. government has allocated $256 million for HBTSS in the last budget. Two U.S. companies, L3, Harris Technologies, and Northrop, Grumman, have been given the task to develop the HBTSS system. The HBTSS would be comprised of a network of infrared sensors that would to be deployed in the lower Earth's orbit. The sensors would seek fast-moving heat signatures. It would be a big challenge for the system to distinguish a moving heat signature from the warm surface of the Earth. The ground-based heat-seeking system can simply identify the threats against a background of the cold sky. But for the orbiting sensors, it is like tracking a light bulb against a background of light bulbs. L3, Harris Technologies, and Northrop, Grumman have developed a prototype sensor system that would detect and track hypersonic weapons from launch to impact. The HBTSS system will pass the critical information to ground stations, ships, and aircraft, enabling them to fire their missiles at the incoming threat. The recently deployed Standard Missile 6 could be used to shot down the hypersonic glide vehicle. Pentagon also aims to design a new defense weapon to intercept the hypersonic weapons at the glide phase. The US has already started the deployment of hypersonic weapons tracking systems on experimental bases. The initial system is expected to be operational in 2023.